Alright, so this is the weekly gaming forecast featuring SpyGuy467, that's me, and Backhand King. Introduce yourself. Yo, what's poppin'? Alright, so the first thing we're going to be talking about today is Project Alpha. Project Alpha is pretty much our 100th video spectacular. We are working on it and will be released by next Friday. Uh, <laughs> next Friday. <laughs> and it will be released by next Friday and will be our 100th video spectacular pretty much. And we've been working hard on it. And I hope you guys like it and are looking forward to it. Because we are, again, it will be uploaded next Friday. The first thing we want to talk about, so that's Project Alpha. And how about them subs? Oh yeah, and recently, oh, and recently we have passed 275 subs, so we are very happy about that. And we're on our way to 300, so very good, very good. <laughs> Alright, mm. take the floor, Zach. Or back end king. Time <laughs> has been added. Well, in news minecraft is going to be on the xbox 360 and is in development for ios and android devices hmm. so people can spend more time with the, more of their life on minecraft on the xbox and the yeah. I, apple ipad and ipod and whatever it's not like people aren't playing enough minecraft as it is I mean, yes People can play it on the go now. Wait, is that guy on my team? I can't tell. Oh, he's probably not. Oh, he was. What the heck? Alright. Alright, mm -hmm. so what's your, do you have any more news? Well, obviously you do. Mm-hmm. Well, July 28th is the release date of Annihilation for PS3 and PC. Yeah. Wait, Jill, that's the day before I go on vacation so I can actually play it. Hmm. How about that live stream, 5 a.m. when it comes out? Live stream, 5 a.m. I don't know, bro. I can be a spy. I don't want to do no live stream. It just says no hmm. whenever I get into spy. All right, I'm, I have, I have well, a good bit of news for us. Let me. All right, Zach, can you give uh, give one more thing of news. I hate you. Hmm. How many? Modern Warfare 3 URL redirects to Battlefield 3 site. <laughs> no, that's, that's a, pretty that's a limit. Pretty dirty by Battlefield. I mean, by EA to do that. I mean, Battle the, the makers of Battlefield have been playing very dirty against Modern Warfare Three. They've been saying, saying all kinds of stuff like they hope to outsell Modern Warfare Three and, and stuff like that. You know, and Battlefield. Bought the Modern Warfare 3 URL, and if you go to modernwarfare3.com, takes you to Battlefield's website, which is pretty dirty of a tactic, but it's kind of cool though, in a way. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna so buy. I got some news for you guys. EA is buying Bottle Cap Games. This is gonna. This is a 750 million dollar deal. Bottle Cap Games are the makers of Plants vs. Zombies, so, you know, they're pretty good, and, like I said, there's a $750 deal right there, so, maybe you can look forward to some more EA, EA games, I, I, iPod and iPad, right, correct? The more you have on a team, correct. the more they are. Have you ever played Plants vs. Zombies before? I never played that. But people seem to be addicted to it. From what I've heard. It's not my cup of tea, as they say. <laughs> Duck, why are you staring at yeah. me? Alright. Why are you haters, Amos? Let's see. Oh, yes. Sony has announced that their new PlayStation 3s, yeah. the newer models, will only be using HDMI to output no, Blu ray, Blu ray discs. Because they want to cut down on piracy, and also, the thing we it's a uh, think there was a copyright issue or something, so they have to do that. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. 
so that can be kind of annoying because you know not everybody uses HDMI and not everybody even knows what HDMI is you know the less tech savvy people well most people already have PS3's Mega duck. Well, yeah but a lot of people don't use HDMI because not everybody's tech tech savvy yes all right and <coughs> Netflix is raising their prices which is a success of bad news because now they're charging eight dollars a month for one video for, I mean for one movie out and they're charging sixteen dollars a month for two videos out and I think they're charging extra money for for instant view I think which is that's pretty bad I mean Netflix was pretty cheap and affordable but a lot of people might have to get rid of it because of that you know Look. All right, so you, you got some news for me? Well, Sony is investing twenty million dollars in PSN exclusives. Hmm, that's very good, very good, because mostly Xbox Live gets all the exclusives crap. So that's going to be nice, you know. Going to be very good. Yeah. yeah. Finally, PlayStation Network to do something for us, you know. All right, see, I yeah. got some more crap. Oh, a 3DS video service has launched in Japan and Europe, and is expected to launch very soon if it hasn't already launched, and will support Netflix on the 3DS, which is pretty cool. People that have 3DSs out there, look forward to that. But I, I, I never, I never got a 3DS. Though. See what else? Oh yeah, DC Universe Online is gonna get a D DLC based on the Green Lantern, which is gonna include three new playable characters and more missions. All right. More information, Bark Boy? Well, I have quite a bit of information on the Wii U. Alright, let's hear it. Well, it's going to use a tablet like touchscreen to play games, video chat, and surf the internet. Hmm, it's going to cool. be HD capable. Finally. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be backwards compatible with all Wii games. Very convenient, unlike the PlayStation 3, which is not backward compatible. Yeah. Keep talking. Yeah. Okay. The device is going to have a microphone, gyroscope, accelerometer, rumble camera, and a stylus. Yes, yes, yes. More, more, more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the currently confirmed titles are Lego City Stories, Darksiders 2, Ghost Recon Online, Aliens Colonial Marines, Metro Last Light, and Pikman 3. And isn't there a Zelda game coming out for that, I'm pretty sure? Correct? Yep. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. People love It's going to be pretty impressive. Zelda. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be the first HD Zelda. It's pretty cool to think about. First HD Zelda. Finally, Nintendo switching to HD after all these years. <laughs> 25, my math's correct. So do you think this Wii U is gonna, um, is gonna hit the hardcore game, hardcore gaming crowd? No. The Wii did it's not. got a tablet like controller. Hmm. So I doubt it. Hmm. You know, hardcore gamers don't like to get fit. Well, that's true. That's they like true. to sit down and, and hold the controller. You know. I guess. Probably why not too many games use six axes. Yeah. 
If anybody even knows what that is, and you play, know. And PlayStation Move. That was pretty, pretty... I don't know, but that, I don't know what the word is, but that was a failure. I bought it. I don't really like it. It's pretty pointless, in my opinion. Mm. Not too many games for it, that's for sure. Connect with its butt and sales, too. So, who knows? Connect sold pretty well, though. That's motion gaming. A lot of people got Kinect stuff. Like a lot of people really got that. Like, all right. See what else there is to talk about. Oh yes, the Left for One, the Left for Dead One, Dead Air campaign is gonna is gonna be put on into Left for Dead Two. So that's pretty cool. More. So that's more more missions for you to play. If you got tired of Left for Dead, of all the other missions, I know I have. <laughs> game can get kind of old after a while have that all right let's see oh yeah limbo the previous xbox 360 exclusive game downloadable game is is dated for ps3 on july 19th which is ex is almost exactly one year after it was released for xbox so finally playstation network users can enjoy th that game which is a pretty good game i've heard you got anything? Nope. I got a little bit more stuff. All right, let's talk about. Let's talk. You want to talk about video bumping? Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, sure. All right. So, basically, lately, people have found out that a lot of YouTubers, well-trusted ones, I'm not gonna name names, even some well-trusted ones. I have been using this thing called video bumping which pretty much like it puts their video back at the top of the list when you first go to the YouTube homepage and yeah so what are your thoughts on that? You think that's bad? Good? Yeah very bad very <laughs> tricky very tricky I think it's pretty I think it's wrong because they're like pushing other YouTubers down just to get themselves up. You know, it's not right. Because you might not be able to see the other videos that, you, that people have uploaded. And they're, you're kind of pushing your fellow YouTubers down. Not letting them get the views that they deserve. I know a lot of popular YouTube YouTubers have said that their views have been going down lately because of video bumping. Alright, so, I think that's all we have to talk about, correct? Yes, no? Maybe so? Uh, um, yeah. Okay. So, thanks for watching. This has been your weekly gaming forecast brought to you by the God Gaming Guys. Have a great, have a great whatever. <laughs> have a great holiday you know it's not a holiday Stay. have a great day. summer is a holiday all right so i'm gonna let's end this mm -hmm.